cameras were not allowed beyond these doors at federal court. But inside, Devon Lyman stood before a judge with his left arm in a cast, still wearing his hospital gown. The after effects of his capture by a police canine last week. According to this criminal complaint, Officer Daniel Webster stopped Lyman in this drugstore parking lot in southeast Albuquerque. Investigators say Lyman's motorcycle had stolen plates on it. Tonight, we're learning new details from the criminal complaint. In it, police say Webster tried to cuff Lyman to the motorcycle's handlebars, and Lyman put up a fight. Officers say Lyman managed to take out a gun and fire six shots at Webster with a 40 caliber semi-automatic pistol. The federal complaint says police have not tested ballistics on the gun just yet. But at least one of those bullets hit Webster in the chin. Sky 7 flew over the massive manhunt Albuquerque police launched to find Lyman. Officers tracked him down to this shed with a handcuff still on his wrist. Lyman was defiant when Action 7 News asked him about the shooting. Devon, what happened there Wednesday night? No clue. Lyman showed a much different demeanor in court Monday morning, only responding yes ma'am or no ma'am to the judge's questions. Lyman is charged with unlawfully possessing a firearm and ammunition. He could face up to 10 years behind bars if convicted. Lyman will be prosecuted in Bernalillo County District Court for the actual shooting. Reporting in Albuquerque, Mike Springer, KOT Action 7 News. While it's been a very